Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do Samsung Refrigerator Inverter Control Board troubleshooting and testing. If the inverter control board fails, it can cause the refrigerator not to cool and the compressor not to start. We're gonna need a multimeter to measure voltage and a screwdriver. The first thing that we'll need to do is put the refrigerator into a mode where the compressor should be running. On this refrigerator, we're going to put it into a forced function mode by pressing and holding these two buttons and then selecting the FF option from the menu. While the refrigerator is in this mode, it will make this annoying beeping sound the entire time. The buttons used varies depending on each model refrigerator. Drop a comment below with your model number and the button sequence used. If the compressor does not start immediately, allow 5 to 10 minutes for it to start. Next, remove this cover by removing these four Phillips screws. With the screws removed, tilt the panel back and lift up to remove. If the LED indicator is lit, not blinking, and the compressor is running, everything should be in normal operation. If the LED indicator light is not on, we need to test the signal from the main control board. The main control board outputs signal to the inverter control board, which tells the inverter control board to send power to the compressor to run. The location of the connector can vary depending on each model refrigerator. Ours was located here and it's labeled with IVT comp signal. Now unplug the connector by depressing the locking tab. With your multimeter set to the DC voltage setting, place one probe on the ground pin and the other on the compressor signal pin. The pin locations can vary depending on each model refrigerator. Please reference the schematic for your fridge to make sure you have the correct pins. The signal in our refrigerator measured approximately 1.85 volts. This can vary depending on your refrigerator. If you don't get a signal from the main control board, the main control board is most likely bad. If the LED indicator is blinking, it indicates that there is a problem. Please count the number of blinks and reference this chart or the service information for your model refrigerator for more details. If you finally have any bad parts on your refrigerator, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure you get the correct part. Once you're done with the troubleshooting, we'll need to exit the force function mode. To exit out of the force function mode, press and hold the same two buttons used to enter it. Then press the button to cycle through the options until you reach the blank screen. So that's it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.